Hi, I'm Anastasia of AnastasiaBlogger.com. I'm a Pinterest marketing expert and today I'll show you how I'm getting over 300,000 monthly page views to my blog from Pinterest. And it's all free organic traffic. Before you ask me if this traffic source works only for bloggers, I have to tell you it works great for e-commerce sites in most of the niches too. Just keep in mind that Pinterest is usually used by, for inspiration and the majority of users on this platform are still female. So it's true that in some niches like recipes, home decor, gifts and holidays, you can get a massive amount of traffic from Pinterest and you will have to monetize it obviously with ads. But in business related niches, you will probably get lower traffic, but you can monetize it with high cost affiliate products or sell your consulting services or your own products. And tell me in the comments below if I'm wrong saying that you will also get lower traffic from any platform for business niches. Pinterest is not an exception, it's just human nature and it's a fact that there are more people who need healthy recipes on a daily basis than people who want to learn some serious stuff like stock market or investment opportunities, right? One of the keys to getting consistent traffic on Pinterest is search engine optimization. I talked about Pinterest SEO in detail in another video, you can click on the info sign, you will get it in your right top corner to open that video and watch it later. And if you stay with me until the end of this video, I'll give you a link to my Pinterest SEO checklist. It's a free PDF file that will help you stay on the right track with Pinterest SEO. But let me show you what actually works the best on Pinterest this year, because there is so much outdated information and Pinterest has changed a lot in the last few years. By the way, I published last week a video with my best Pinterest hacks that helped me drive so much organic traffic to my blogs, and I'll do my best to avoid repetition in this video. So if you want to get all the tips and tricks from me, make sure to click on that info icon on the top right corner and I will link the, the Pinterest hacks video. And if you miss that link, you can always look for the link in the description under this video. If you want to get traffic from Pinterest, the first rule is never use a personal account for this, because your account might be easily suspended and only business accounts should be used to promote websites. I will not waste much time here giving you all the steps of website verification because many of you watching this video have already done this. For those of you who still need help with this process, I will leave a link to an instruction which I publish on my blog and you will find this link in the description below the video. The second rule is to have rich pins enabled. If you cannot do this from the first attempt, for whatever technical reason, I just encourage you to not give up on them. Try to contact Pinterest support, don't just ignore the rich pins because they are not some accessory of your Pinterest account. I strongly believe that without rich pins, your pins are in disadvantage compared to your competitors because you don't have that additional keyword rich information that comes with your page SEO title and description. One of the dated tips you could find in other videos or articles about Pinterest marketing is trying to get access to multiple group boards. I'm sure if you have done a little bit of research about generating organic traffic from Pinterest, you've seen these tips. People would say no matter how relevant the group boards are to your niche, just apply to join the biggest group boards in order to get higher reach on Pinterest. But it doesn't work anymore on Pinterest this way. They've been very clear about group boards losing distribution power since the middle of 2018. And when you see a group board with thousands of contributors, it might be tempting to apply because it will definitely be easier to get accepted. But on the other hand, you will be most probably joining a group board that is full of spam and has no specific topic. Usually, these generic boards allow pinners from all kinds of niches, so don't waste your time trying to get access to group boards, especially to generic group boards. So focus on building boards on your own account. Rule number four of generating Pinterest traffic is don't try to target too narrow and long tail keywords on Pinterest like you would do on Google with a new site. 
you will simply not be getting the amount of traffic you deserve on Pinterest. These are the two reasons why I recommend you to focus on short and popular keywords instead. The first reason is that Pinterest doesn't give any priority to older sites. Pinterest doesn't care about domain authority or backlinks like Google does. So competing for popular keywords is possible for any new site and any new account on Pinterest. And the second reason is that Pinterest users rarely search for something very specific. They don't have a long tail keyword in mind when they come to Pinterest. So just so you know, it's official stats shared by Pinterest that shows about 75% of all searches on this platform are short search phrases of about one to three maximum words. And people view on average about 60 pins per query. That's another proof that all the sites and search results have approximately the same chances for a click. You just need to make sure that your pin stands out. If you want to really understand why Pinterest is such a powerful platform compared to even Google search and why Pinterest works for traffic generating much better than Facebook or Instagram, I recommend you to join my free Pinterest masterclass if you haven't seen it yet, and you'll find a link to it in the description below this video. Now, rule number five, when you save your pin for the first time on Pinterest, make sure that you choose the most relevant board first. Ideally, you should find a board that has the same focus keyword in the board title as you have in the pin title. After saving your pin to the best relevant board, you can save it to other relevant boards, but make sure that your content first goes to the most relevant boards. By doing this, you help Pinterest understand what your pin is actually about, and you help the algorithm find the right people who will be actually in interested in your content and will show early engagement on your pins. And if you want to understand better what does the most relevant board mean, and how you can master Pinterest search engine optimization in general, don't forget to check the link in the description below this video that goes to my free Pinterest SEO checklist. It's a PDF file. My Pinterest traffic tip number six is create multiple images for each piece of content. Remember that every pin image has a half-life of about three and a half months. At some point, continuing to save the same image repeatedly will become less and less effective. So what really works on Pinterest nowadays is creating new images and pin descriptions all the time, even for your old content. And it's way easier to create a couple of new pins for your old post and reshare it on Pinterest with a fresh image than to create a brand new piece of content, right? Of course, Pinterest rewards content creators who get lots of saves from different page URLs who can produce new content frequently. But not for all business models it works well. So this strategy of saving multiple pins linked to the same content actually can generate you a lot of Pinterest traffic without burning you out with new content creation all the time. I often get this question from people who learned about duplicate content on Google, that if creating multiple pins for the same content, you might trigger spam filters on Pinterest for duplicates. I want to assure you that Pinterest doesn't mind you creating new pin images for old posts, because for Pinterest, as a visual search engine, an image is the piece of content. So as long as you don't save the same pin images linked to the same posts, you're not creating duplicates. As long as you create a new image, it's considered a fresh piece of content for Pinterest. My Pinterest traffic secrets number seven is be consistent. Okay, this might be something you heard about on other social media platforms as well, like you probably know that Instagram and YouTube reward accounts for consistency. And the same happens on Pinterest. And you shouldn't ignore this fact. I see that most of people struggle with being consistent on Pinterest because it seems like such a hustle to save more than 10 or even 30 pins every day. 
So people have a tendency to jump on Pinterest every once in a while, like once a month maybe, and save a bunch of uh, their pins at once, a hundred of pins in less than an hour. Is it possible? Totally possible, especially if uh, a big part of these pins are just three pins. But is it efficient in driving your traffic? No, it's not. You need to try and spread out your pinning. And if you cannot log in manually on Pinterest a few times a day, just do it with an approved scheduler like Tailwind, for example. You don't have to remember about Pinterest several times a day to be consistent. Schedule a pins with intervals of at least one day in Tailwind and Pinterest will love your account for consistency. Check out my other detailed video about using Tailwind Scheduler. You can see the info icon in the right top corner right now or just find the link in the description below this video. So I want you to remember what you learned today and what will help you grow your Pinterest traffic fast. First, don't use a personal account to drive traffic to your website. Use a business account. Don't ignore the power of rich pins. If you didn't manage to enable them from the first time, don't, um, don't give up and try to contact Pinterest support to get this done. The next one, don't waste your time with group boards. Invest most of your efforts in building boards on your own account. Number four, don't target long tail keywords on Pinterest. Most of the users are looking for inspiration on this platform and so they use short search phrases of one or three words maximum. Tip number five is the very first time your image has to be saved on Pinterest to the most relevant board. Tip number six is create multiple images for each piece of content. And tip number seven, be consistent. If you don't want to do it manually, use Tailwind Scheduler. And let me tell you the biggest mistake you can make in growing your Pinterest traffic. Are you paying attention to me now? So the worst mistake you can make is closing this video before you click that notification bell and without subscribing to my channel, because I'm sharing Pinterest marketing tips every Thursday and it's free, it's always up-to-date expert information about Pinterest. So hit the bell, subscribe and I'll see you in the next videos.